In this topic, you will learn how to connect to the Sage X3 mobile app, how to set up mobile services, and how to define a standard service. Let's take a look at how to configure the Apple iOS service. First, you have to download and open the app, and then configure the service. To start, select the Service button to configure the service, and then use the Plus button to add a new service. To continue, you have to fill in the main fields for the server name, description, server URL, and you have the option to make it the default service. Once you've done that, you can save your changes. You can also add additional services. To start, use the plus button to configure the secondary service. Once again, you'll have to fill in the server name, description, and server URL. However, you do not want to make a secondary service a default service. Once you have that information entered in, you can save your changes. You can check the list of services available on the iOS device. Slice the service line on the left to edit it. In edit mode, you can change the description or its URL if needed, and you can delete a service if it's no longer available. Also in this page, you can connect to the Define Sage X3 access. Just select the link and enter your credentials. Your credentials need to be saved if you want to allow refresh data for your live tiles. To connect to the default service, use the dedicated button. You can also skip this page with an option at the bottom of the page. Otherwise, you can access a different service by clicking on Service, then choose the service you want to use. In this presentation, you have learned how to connect to a standard service, how to modify or delete a service, and how to set up a default service.